It's another night of looking unto God. It's another night of prayers. It's another night of trusting God for healing, for breakthroughs, for salvation, for deliverance. It's another night of experiencing the demonstration of the power of God. And no doubt, just like in the past weeks, this night is going to be awesome. And I want to encourage you tonight to look unto God. The Bible says, Look unto the Lord, O ye ends of the earth, and be saved. Is your life troubled? Is there trouble anywhere? Are you overwhelmed? Are you sorrowful? Does it appear as if God has forgotten you? The Bible said that ye that are troubled, rest with us. And this night, during this hour of solution, I bring to you the message of peace. I bring to you the message of hope. I bring to you the message of the Lord. The Lord said that ye that are troubled, troubled as a result of the challenges of life, rest with us. This is the hour of solution. It's a time God visits us in any part of the globe where we are uh, uh, located. And I want to encourage you tonight, look unto God. Are you in a situation and it appears as if no way for you? That's a way, and Jesus is that way. And this night, the Lord will visit you in Jesus' name. And that's why the Lord has raised up this uh, program, this prayer-based program, called the Hour of Solution, so that the Lord could visit you, could touch you, could roll away those mountains. And this night, I want to encourage all our viewers, anywhere you are viewing this life uh, program, in any part of the world, are you troubled? Look unto God tonight. It's going to be a time of prayers. It's going to be a time when diverse needs will be met. Look unto God. Once again, the Bible says, those that are troubled, rest with us. And this night, there is rest in the name of Jesus. And I want to assure you, it's another night of wonders. It's another night of the supernatural. It's another night of experiencing God. And I know you are expectant tonight. I know you have been waiting for this day. And this day, this night has finally come. The hour of solution. There will be a demonstration of the power of God tonight in the name of Jesus. You are wonderful. You are worthy, O oh Lord. You are wonderful, Lord. You are worthy, O oh Lord. You are wonderful. You are worthy, O oh Lord. 
and the earth. We are here once again in the presence of the Lord for the hour of solution. We want to thank you for what you are doing. We want to thank you for all that you have done through this medium. Thank you for those that you have healed. Thank you for those you have delivered. Thank you for those you have rescued. Thank you for those you have given hope through this program. Thank you for answers to prayers, week in and week out, through this program. Thank you for all our viewers, for your children, for your creatures. want to thank you for the great and the mighty things you have been doing. Thank you for those that you have saved, saved their souls. Make them your children through this program. Mighty God, I worship you tonight. I glorify you tonight. You've been awesome. You've been wonderful. You've been great. We worship you tonight. The great and the mighty God. The one that have told us that those that are troubled, rest with us. Rest in Christ. Rest with Christ. Lord, this night we are once again before your presence. For this program, the hour of solution, a prayer-based program. And Lord, tonight, we are looking unto you that the heavens will open upon this program in the name of Jesus. This night, O oh God, 
The viewers are looking unto you. They are not looking unto the servant of God. They are not looking unto the pastor. They are not looking unto the man of God. They are looking unto God, the mighty God, the powerful God, the shelter in the time of storm, the one that can do all things, the one that can overpower Goliath, the one that can deliver them from strongholds, the one that can set them free. Lord, we are looking unto you tonight. We are looking unto you this day that, Lord, you will visit us in the name of Jesus. Those that are sick, during this hour of solution, you will heal the sick. You will deliver the oppressed. Those that are confused, confused as a result of inexplicable things, things that, can, that they cannot explain happening to their lives, Lord, I pray you will visit such people during this hour of solution in the name of Jesus. Let them you open doors through this program. Let the blind see through this program. Let the dumb receive, Lord, be able to speak through this program. Let the dumb begin to hear through this program. Let the deaf begin to hear through this program. You the sick, deliver the oppressed. Destroy every mountain. Bring down every walls of Jericho. Jericho. Bring down every walls of Jericho. Cause Goliath to collapse tonight. Oh Lord, we are looking unto you tonight. Make tonight a powerful night. It's a night of prayers. It's a night of wonders. It's a night of release. It's a night of freedom. It's a night of recovery. It's a night of awesome power. Lord, I pray that during this program, the power of Jehovah will come down. The power of the Most High God will come down. You will break yokes tonight. Those that have been overwhelmed by the powers of sin, Lord, through this program, you will destroy every power of sin in the life of our viewers in the name of Jesus. Lord, I pray that tonight, all the chains, all the fetters, all the activities of the wicked one will be destroyed tonight. In the name of Jesus, let your glory come down tonight. Lord, it's a night of prayers. It's a night of looking unto God. I pray that tonight, O oh God, there shall be showers of blessings. Every viewer, we receive, O oh God, miracles and testimonies in the name of Jesus. Anoint your servant tonight. The Bible said that the Lord has given me the tongue of the learned, that I should know how to speak a word to him that is weary. Lord, I pray that tonight you are not your servant. And through your servant, O oh God, great miracles, great deliverances, great salvation will take place tonight in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, because you have answered. For in Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. Once again, I welcome every viewer to this awesome night, the hour of solution. And this night, there will be solution to every challenges of life in the name of Jesus. Just like as I said when I started, the Lord said, those that are troubled, rest with us. In any area you are troubled, the Lord said, you should rest with us this night. And this night is going to be an awesome night. It's going to be a night of prayers, just as usual. And this night, whatever is the closed doors over your life, over your destiny, this night, such closed doors will be prayed opened in the name of Jesus. And whatever is that seemingly big situation before you, as we pray this night, every mountain will collapse in the name of Jesus. And look unto God this night. It's an awesome night. It's a great night. 
It's a night of wonders. It's a night that God is going to visit men. You are a creature of God. He loves you. He's bothered about you. And when you are not living a fulfilled life, when you are not living the life expected of God for you, then God is troubled. God is not happy. And that's why this night, God is ready to visit you and bless you mightily in the name of Jesus. It's going to be a wonderful night. Very soon I will share with us the word of the Lord, what the Lord has for us tonight. And thereafter, we spend some time praying. And I want to assure you this night, every strong man in your life will be dethroned in the name of Jesus. Strong man in your family, the strong man, the one that has stood between you and your breakthrough, the one that has stood between you and peace, the one that has stood between you and miracles, every strong man this night, the strong man will be disarmed. The strong man will be subdued. And all his palaces will be dethroned from your life in the name of Jesus. Before we pray this night, I'll be speaking to us on the topic, spiritual warfare against strongholds. I said this night, I'll be speaking to us on the topic, spiritual warfare against strongholds. Strongholds are real. Strongholds, they are not friends. They are not friendly. They are enemies. Strongholds, they are real. And strongholds are not friendly. They are enemies. They work against the plan of God for your life and against your life. And that's why this night, as the Lord is leading us, we are going to declare spiritual warfare against strongholds and be ready to pull down every stronghold tonight. Be ready to disarm every stronghold tonight. That enemy is a stronghold. That power that is working against God's plan for your life it's a stronghold. And this night is a night of spiritual warfare against strongholds. We take our text from the book of Ephesians. The book of Ephesians chapter 6. We read verse 12. Please read along with us. If you have a copy of the Bible there, please ensure you open your Bible and read along with us. This night is an awesome night. It's a powerful night. It's a night that every, every bulwarks, every stronghold, stronghold against your life, stronghold against your family, stronghold against your business, stronghold against your glory, stronghold against your destiny. This is a night of taking authority over them, engaging them in spiritual warfare, disarming them, and putting the armies of the aliens to flight in your life. Ephesians chapter 6, verse 12. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood. It's not a physical fight. It's not a physical warfare. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against principalities. Those that have made themselves principalities over your life. They brag. They lord over your life. They manipulate your life. They put you under servitude. They put you under chains. Principalities against powers, demonic powers, Powers of the wicked one. Power that will not let Israel go. Power that will resist you, checkmate you. 
power that, that, that will stand at the gate of your breakthrough and manipulate good things from coming into your life against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Those places where spiritual wickedness goes on, takes place. Those strongholds where the life of men are being manipulated, put under lock and key. But this night, remember, it's a night of spiritual warfare against strongholds. Life is a battle. I said life is a battle. And no wonder the Bible says, from the days of John the Baptist, until now, until this present moment, the kingdom of heaven suffered violence. And the violent take it by force. So life is a battle. You must be ready to fight. To fight and release yourself from captivity. To fight and release yourself from the program of the enemy. To fight and release yourself from every lock and key. There are people whose life are under lock and key. Their destiny under lock and key. Their business under lock and key. Their health under lock and key. They cannot enjoy good health provided by the Lord. This night is a night of spiritual warfare against strongholds. Jacob had to fight spiritual battle in order to prevail. And that's what you must do tonight. That's what you must do tonight. Jacob had to fight spiritual battle in order to prevail. In fact, the life of Jacob was dominated by misfortunes and failures for many years. Until that night, he decided to confront every stronghold against his life in spiritual warfare. And if you know Jacob, he was a man that went through troubles for years. Nothing was working. Disappointment here and there. The strongholds were dominating the life of Jacob. The strongholds were ruling and reigning over the life of Jacob. Until that particular night, there are always a particular day for a man. There is always a particular day for the freedom of a man, for the freedom of a captive. And that day came in the life of Jacob. That wonderful night. That night of confronting the strongholds of his life. Jacob was determined. He was tired of living a, a, a life that doesn't glorify God. He was tired of living in servitude. He was tired of living his life under lock and key. Until that very night, that decisive night, that Jacob made up his mind and got into spiritual warfare against strongholds. That was the night the life of Jacob was changed. That was the night that the glory of the Lord began to manifest in the life of Jacob. That was the night that his life changed. And this night is your night. This is a night that your life is going to change. Jacob had to pray. I've told us life is a battle. When you pray, you win. When you pray, you conquer. And Jacob had to face squarely the stronghold of his life. That wonderful night, that decisive night, he said, enough is enough. I'm going to sort it out. And he went into the time of prayers, just as we are going to do tonight. He wrestled with the strong man of his life. Until he prevailed. And this night, you will prevail. Remember, 
I'm speaking to us tonight on the topic, spiritual warfare against strongholds. And I've told us, strongholds are not friendly. They are foes. Strongholds. They will not live your life. They will not release your life until you engage them in spiritual warfare. And get ready. Every stronghold in your life, every stronghold against your life, stronghold against your health, stronghold that want to take you to premature grave. This night, we are going to disarm every stronghold. We are going to set their palaces on fire. We are going to release yourself from the influence and dominance of every stronghold tonight in the name of Jesus. The life of Jabez was plagued and limited by strongholds. He resorted to spiritual warfare in order to break through and break open closed doors against his life and destiny. How I love Jabez. He was a man that knew how to handle strongholds. If you have read about Jabez, he was a man plagued by challenges. His life was limited by strongholds until he resorted to spiritual warfare in order to break through and break open, close doors against his life and destiny. Are there closed doors against your life? Are there closed doors against your destiny? Are there plagues limiting your life? Closed doors against your marriage? You know some people that are closed doors against their marriage. They only get married when their mates have finished and not having children very late in life. Put like Jabez tonight. He resorted to spiritual warfare in order to break through and break open closed doors against his life and destiny. And because he engaged in spiritual warfare against strongholds of his life, the Bible gave all the testimony about Jabez that he became more honorable than his brethren. No man that prays that will not conquer a stronghold. Jacob prayed. He disarmed the strongholds against his life. Jabez prayed. He deployed the weapon of spiritual warfare through prayers against the stronghold that was against his destiny, that has manipulated his destiny. And he prayed through and prayed open, closed doors against his life and destiny. This night is your turn. You will pray through, you will break through in the name of Jesus. Before we pray, what are strongholds? What are strongholds? As I said, strongholds are not friendly. They are not friends. They are not friends to your life. They are not friends to your family. Strongholds are foes. They are enemies. Enemies of your life. Enemies of God's plan for your life. Strongholds an instrument of wickedness that want to keep you in bondage. Strongholds are instrument of darkness that want to limit your life, limit God's plan for your life. What are strongholds? Whatever is not allowing you to succeed and make progress in life, in business, in marriage, is a stronghold. And that's why you see some people, they make efforts. They make effort over and over to succeed. 
and yet the stronghold of their life will not allow them to succeed. I shared with us weeks back about a particular man, the somebody I knew. The stronghold that will not allow you to succeed in life traveled with him to the foreign country. Right at the airport, he has crossed the immigration. His traveling document, everything was perfect. He has crossed the immigration. But the stronghold that will not allow you to succeed in life pulled him back. For just no cause, he went back to the immigration. Before you know it, other things came up. Before you know it, they deported him back to Nigeria. Back to square one. I knew that man. He went through hell. He suffered a lot. Those are the activities of stronghold. They don't allow people to succeed. They don't allow people to make progress. They checkmate people at the verge of their glory. But this night, the Bible said that for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers. Remember this night, I'm speaking to us on spiritual warfare against strongholds. And this night, when we get into the time of prayers, this is a prayer-based program. Begin to identify every stronghold in your life. This night is a night of waging wars, aggressive spiritual warfare against strongholds, formidable strongholds, stubborn strongholds. This night is a night of aggressively waging war, confronting every stronghold against your life. I will put them down tonight in the name of Jesus. What are strongholds? A cause that was placed on you and such cause has, has been consistently working against you is a stronghold. That people, their life is laboring under a cause. Their life is under a cause. Their life is managed, governed by a cause. Just like Reuben, a curse was placed over Reuben. Reuben, you will not excel. And that was what happened. Reuben could not excel. Even long after he was gone, that terrible curse that was placed upon Reuben was affecting his generation. His generation were dying. The tribe of Reuben was getting smaller and smaller. Read your Bible. You will see that. Until a particular day came, I told us, there's always a particular day for the freedom of a man. There's always a particular day for a miracle. There's always a particular day for that sickness to go away from your life. There's always a particular day for it to experience the power of God. Until that particular day came for the tribe of Reuben. And Moses, the servant of God. Moses, the prophet of God. With anointing and the power of God upon his life, he spoke into the life of Reuben and said, let Reuben live and let Reuben not die. That was the day the stronghold of the cause that was working against the tribe of Reuben was destroyed. And this night I come as a servant of God. I come as a minister of the, of the Bible. I come as a minister of salvation. I come as a servant of God. And I proclaim and I declare every cause against your life, cause that was placed upon your life as a result of your sin, cause that was innocently placed over you, and that cause is manifesting. It's manifesting in your life. It's manifesting against you. It's manifesting against your family. This night I come in the strength of the, of the power of the word of the Lord, and I cancel every cause against your life in the name of Jesus. Every cause that you will not accept, every cause that your, your life will be full of troubles, full of tears, full of storms, 
full of roadblock. This night as a servant of God. The Bible said that life and death is in the power of the tongue. As a servant of God. During this hour of solution, a prayer-based program, I cancel every negative cause that have been working against your life in the name of Jesus. What are strong goals? Stagnancy and limitation in your life is a stronghold. I've had people say it over and over, man of God, I don't know what is wrong with me. My life is not making progress. Just a few days ago, somebody said, you know, sent a, a pathetic text message to us. She's a lady, and she's fed up of life. And she said, man of God, for nine years now, is it how I will continue my life? And when we read that text message, I was touched. And normally as a servant of God, I also sent back message to her. I gave her hope. I encouraged her. And I told her it is well. That's not the end of life. Those are the strong goals we are talking about. They are not friendly. They are not friends. They are foes that have come to, to, to distort the peace of God for your life. But this night, every stronghold of stagnancy, stagnancy in business, stagnancy in life, stagnancy in, in, in marriage, almost 50 years as a lady, you are not married. That's a stronghold. That's stagnancy. That's limitation. Some people, like as I said, you see them. They will get married only when their mates have finished real, uh, giving birth to children against their wish. That's a stronghold. But this night, by the word of the Lord, every stronghold of stagnancy, of limitation over your life, over your destiny, over your children, over your family, over your life is destroyed in the name of Jesus. What are strongholds? Inexplicable and same negative experience and situation repeatedly occurring in your life. It's a strong goal. You just can't explain. That thing is happening over and over. You invest money into that business, that business must crash. You get another loan, you invest into another business, that business must it will crash. Inexplicable things. Things you cannot explain. You just, you just don't know why. But they keep on happening. Negative experiences. Negative situations. Do not happen once. Doors will, doors will open for other people. And once it is your turn, that door will close. Repeatedly. You have been experiencing that. That's a powerful stronghold. But tonight, it's a night of spiritual warfare against strongholds. Very soon, I'll be releasing us to pray. Who pull down every stronghold. Remember, life is a battle. And from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffered violence and the violent take it by force. This night, by, by aggressive prayers, we are going to dismantle, disarm every stronghold against your life in the name of Jesus. What are strongholds? Close doors, a close heaven. And a close heart. Nothing works for you. Nothing. A business that other people will do and make it in life and are happy in life. You get into it. You see, you, you will experience closed doors. You put her there. No way. You place your leg here. No way. Practically, everywhere and every door is closed for you. That's a serious stronghold. I've seen people say, servant of God, pastor, I don't know what is happening. I'll go that direction, I will see closed door. I turn to my left, I will experience closed door. That reminds me of, of, of a particular servant of God. You might also be listening, you know, viewing this program as well. Because he's one of the viewers. A mighty man of God today. Powerful man of God. I know him closely. Years back, life was terrible for him. 
The strong ghost we are manifesting against his life in every area. He has, he has tried several businesses. It will end up in failure. Things we are so bad. He has done businesses that you, 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 you don't even expect a human being to do. But he just had to do it to survive. And yet, he never experienced any success in such businesses. Until a day came, he made up his mind. And that's why I always say, there's always a day for a man. And this night, you must make up your mind. Strongholds can be defeated, yes. Those formidable strongholds, those formidable strongholds can be dethroned, can be defeated. They can be disarmed. Those principalities and powers that want to lord over your life, they want to become a small god over your life, I, I say they can be disarmed. And this night, you will disarm them through the weapon of spiritual warfare. And that's how that servant of God began to pray. He began to pray. There's somebody I knew very well. He's a man of God, a holiness preacher. He's a deliverance minister. And he began to pray. Because strongholds were following him bomber to bomber. To feed his family was difficult. To make it in life appears impossible. Until he knew that this one is a stronghold. A, mani a manifest manifestation. A stronghold in manifestation. And he began to pray. Before you know it, he disarmed the strongholds. He overpowered the strongholds. He dethroned the strongholds. He subdued the strongholds. He conquered the strongholds. And before you know it, breakthrough came for him. I know him. I know him. I know him very well. Today his ministry is doing well. He's comfortable in life. He's a child of God. He's a servant of God. He's a preacher of holiness and righteousness. This night is a night of spiritual warfare against strongholds. This night is a night of disarming every stronghold. This night is a night of conquering every stronghold. This is a serious night. You need serious spiritual warfare to break through and break up every closed doors. And this night, every stronghold will be dethroned in the name of Jesus. Very soon we are going to enter into the time of praying. I have to spend all this time to open your eyes, to open your knowledge. For you to know what strongholds are, the way they work, the activities against the life of men. And I believe you have taken an audit of your life. You've taken an audit of, of, of things happening in your life. And you've recognized the strongholds that are showing themselves formidable against God's plan for your life. Tonight is the hour of solution, a prayer-based program. And this night, I don't see any stronghold against your life surviving. This night, I don't see any stronghold against your life standing. This night is a night of pulling down strongholds. It's a night of praying through and breaking through. It's a night of doing like Jacob of old. It's a night of praying like Jabez of old. Who knew the act of engaging strongholds, strongholds against your marriage, stronghold against your destiny, stronghold against your health, stronghold against your business, stronghold against God's plan for your life. I made up my mind as a servant of God because I know the plan of God for my life. And I made up my mind, no stronghold will deter me from fulfilling destiny. And no matter what it takes in prayers, I'll pay the price and I'm ready to pay the price again. Because strongholds can be defeated and strongholds must be defeated. This night is your night. The Lord has spoken to us. It's time to get into the battlefield. The Bible said, and from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffered violence. 
and the violent taken by force. Strongholds are not, are not friends. Strongholds doesn't behave friendly with you. They attack your life. They limit your life. They distort your life. They work against your life. They go against your life. And you have only one option. And that option is to engage in spiritual warfare against strongholds. Anywhere you are, open your mouth and begin to pray. The time has come. The hour has come. The time of solution has come. The time of freedom has come. Spiritual warfare against strongholds. It's a time of engaging in spiritual warfare against strongholds. It's a time of dealing with strongholds. It's a time of pulling down strongholds. It's a time. It's a time. It's a time. Of dealing with every stronghold, so open your mouth and begin to pray. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers. Against rich principalities and powers. Against rich spiritual principalities and powers. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against rich principalities and powers. It's a time to engage in spiritual warfare against strongholds. Strongholds against your life. Jacob had to pray. That night came. That day came. That particular day came. That Jacob had to engage in spiritual warfare against the stronghold of his life. He prayed prayers. He confronted the stronghold against his life. The stronghold against his destiny. The stronghold against God's plan for his life. It's your turn. It's your turn. It's your turn. My father, my father, where are the chariots of Israel and the horsemen thereof? People that will rise up in prayer this night, during this hour of solution, and engage in spiritual warfare against strongholds. Every stronghold against your destiny, you pull it down. Jabez was troubled. He was troubled by strongholds. His life was full of challenges. Poverty as a stronghold embraced the life of Jacob. Misery as a stronghold embraced the life of Jacob. Until that day, Jabez prayed. Jabez prayed. He confronted the stronghold of his life. Before you know it, there was testimony. Men that will experience testimony and men that will pray. Women that will experience the glory of the Lord, the power of God, are women that will pray. It's time to pray. It's time to pray. It's time to pray. It's time to pray. Anywhere you are viewing this program, in any part of the globe, in any part of the world, it's a time to pray. Strong God can be defeated. Strong God can be disarmed. Strong God can be dethroned. Strong God can be subdued. Strong God. Strong God can be released from your life. Spiritual warfare against strong God. Exercise your authority. I pull down the strong goals. The strong God against your business, you pull them down. The strong God against your life, you pull them down. The strong God in form of that cause. In form of that cause. In form of that cause. Reuben could not make it. Reuben could not lift up his head. There was trouble for the tribe of Reuben until the servant of God prays. Make use of the weapon of prayer and said, let Reuben live. Let Reuben not die. That was the day the stronghold against the tribe of Reuben was destroyed. Was destroyed. Was, de de was disarmed. This night is your night. Pray. I said pray. I said pray. I said pray. It's a night of spiritual warfare. It's a night of spiritual warfare. A night of glory. A night of glory. A night of glory. It's a night of spiritual warfare. Pray tonight. Pray tonight. Pray tonight. Pray tonight. Pray tonight. Pray tonight. That best resulted to spiritual warfare. In order to pray through and break open closed doors against his life and destiny. And they are closed doors against your life. Closed doors in the area of marriage. Closed doors against your finances. Closed doors against your destiny. Do like Jabez. Do like Jabez. Make sure you are praying. I know you are praying. Where you are, in your home, in your church, anywhere you are, listening to this live program, connected to us, to this live program, the hour of solution, a prayer-based program. Do 
like Dabes, go like Dabes, go like Dabes. The stronghold, the stronghold, the stronghold you put on the stronghold, the stronghold against your life, the stronghold, the stronghold that has limited your life, subdued your life, the stronghold, the stronghold that has made you to behave like that woman that sent the death message to us, overwhelmed by the challenges of life, overwhelmed, overwhelmed, overwhelmed by the challenges of life. This night, pray. The hour of solution. It's time to pray. It's time to pray. Jacob prayed. It's time for you to pray. Jabez prayed. It's time for you to pray. Men, men prayed. It's time for you to pray. It's time to put to flight the armies of the aliens. It's time to put to flight that stronghold. That stronghold. The stronghold. The stronghold of principalities and powers. The stronghold of the enemy. The stronghold that has padlocked your life. Your life has been padlocked. The stronghold that has padlocked your life. You pull out every stronghold. It's time to pray. It's time to pray. Pray. Make sure you are praying. 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 Sure praying. Every close doors, close heavens, close hearts. A strong gold, you put them down tonight. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, against principalities and powers, against rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Every strong gold against my destiny, I pull you down in the name of Jesus. That's the next prayer point. Every strong gold against your destiny, strong gold, strong gold that will pull you back. Like that man I shared with you, he has left the shores of Nigeria. He has crossed over, but the strong God that will not allow him to succeed in life. The strong God that will not allow him to make it in life. The strong God followed him to the, to the place of breakthrough, and before you know it, he was he was he, 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 he was he was brought back to the country. That's a strong God. You put on every strong God. Spiritual warfare against strong God. Spiritual warfare against strong God. You pull down every strongholds. You pull down every strongholds. Strongholds. You put head here, no way. You put your leg here, no way. Everywhere and every door is closed against you. You cannot keep quiet. Jabez did not keep quiet. Jacob and Jabok, he did not keep quiet. That glorious night came. That glorious night came. That glorious night came. And Jacob said, enough is enough. You strong God, I will confront you. You beast of every sort, I will confront you. You strong God, against my destiny. Against the plan of God for my life, I will confront you. And Jacob prayed prayers. The Bible said he prayed. The Bible said he prayed. Are you praying? Are you praying? The Bible said Jacob prayed. Jacob prayed. He laid hold on the stronghold. He confronted the stronghold. He confronted the stronghold. He confronted the stronghold. No wonder his name was changed from a failure to a prevailer. His name was changed from a failure to a prevailer. You can pray through this night. You can pray through this night. It's a prayer-based program. We pray here. We pray in this program. We pray through, through this program. Anywhere you are viewing this live program, in any part of the globe, in any continent of the, of, of the globe, it's time to pray. It's time to pray. Spiritual warfare against strongholds. What are those strongholds in your life? What are those strongholds against your destiny? What are those strongholds? What are those strongholds against your family? What are those strongholds against your destiny? What are those strongholds against your life? It's time you pull down every strongholds. Pray. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. If I pray for us tonight, we are still going to pray. Moses had to pray as a servant of God, as a man of God. And he released the tribe of Reuben from the stronghold that had been working against their life. And that's what I'm going to do tonight. That's what a servant of God is going to do tonight. I'm going to release you from every stronghold, satanic strongholds, strongholds that have distorted your life, strongholds that have distorted your peace, 
Stronghold that have made your life miserable. Do you know that there are some people, they don't see the reason why they should still be living. Because there are so much troubles in their life. And they don't see any hope in sight. But this night I tell you, there is hope for you. There is hope in sight. There is hope for you. There is hope in sight. The mighty God is still alive. The great and the terrible one, the pillar that holds the world, he is still a specialist in disarming strongholds, satanic strongholds. He is still a specialist in dethroning strongholds. And this night, remember, it's a night of spiritual warfare against strongholds. And I know where, where you are, viewing this live program, I know you are really praying. I know you are really praying. And I want you to pray more. Because this night, every stronghold against your life must be disarmed. Stronghold against your destiny must be disarmed. Stronghold can be conquered. Stronghold can be dethroned. Stronghold can be overpowered. I'm telling you from life experience. I'm telling you for, from what I know about people, people that have prayed. And they disarm strongholds from their life. And this night is your turn. Jacob was able to pray. That night came. That day came. And this night is your night. Jabez also was able to pray. He 